I'm going to give all the men out there 10 bits of ammunition when your partner says, it's all you ever think about. Hello, my name is James, and thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Dad Mind Matters, helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their mind. So from the research I've done and from asking ChatGPT, who from the sounds of it managed to ask everyone on the internet in the time it takes me to pour a cup of coffee. Oh, that really is first class. Even though she clearly knows it all, ChatGPT asked me to read the following disclaimer. Research into what men think about the most reveals a variety of topics that occupy their minds. While individual experiences vary, studies and surveys offer insight into common themes. Here are 10 topics that research shows men frequently think about. As a man, I think it's quite accurate. Yes, it is on the list, but it might not be in the order you think. So the first thing in a list of the 10 things men think about the most is work and career. Apparently, you spend a lot of time thinking about our jobs and our career progression. But more importantly, we spend most of the time thinking about concerns about our job performance, competition from other colleagues, and our general financial stability. And I would say that's accurate. I probably spend the majority of the time worrying about whether or not I've got enough money for my income to support my family. Even though the responsibility for who takes care of the family finances is probably much more equal than it was certainly for my father's generation. That's especially in the case in my family. My wife has a full-time job and she earns about 40% more than I do a year. But I still think there's something in us as men that want to provide. Something that transcends gender. I think there is something built into our DNA that we want to provide and look after the people that we love. And the second thing on the list that apparently us men think about the most, relationships. So either our marriages or our dating situation. Apparently we spend a lot of time thinking about the dynamics of a relationship, the health of our relationship, whether or not our relationship is secure, how our partner feels about us, how we feel about our partner, whether we feel satisfied and fulfilled in a relationship, and what we can do to support our partner relationship. And just in case you need to add some ammunition to your arsenal when you're being told off for apparently that's what you think about, third thing on the list, according to the entire internet, that men think about the most is sex. ChatGBT, and therefore the whole internet, seem to be quite clear that men do think about sex more regularly than women. That said, there will be women out there with high libidos, and men out there with low libidos. But yes, women, you are right. Sexual thoughts and fantasies do occupy men's minds, but it's in third place, not in first place. And the fourth topic that apparently men spend the most time thinking about, money and finances. Financial stability, budgeting, investments, future financial goals, and actually more likely future concerns about money are something that men think about a lot. According to ChatGBT, Men spend a lot of time thinking about how they're going to provide for themselves and their family. And again, as a married father of three, this is something I relate to. Even in our situation where my wife has a job that brings in more than my job does, in my mind, it's my job to provide. And by providing, I mean financially providing. Our generation of Gen Xs and millennial dads are also now expected to provide at least 50% of the emotional support to our children. And although I think that's fair and right, it is an added pressure that we have to deal with that potentially our dads didn't. And the fifth thing that apparently men spend the most time thinking about, health and fitness. Apparently men often think about fitness, exercise and overall well-being. But according to the list that ChatGBT gave me, there are four things we think about more. Two of which quite clearly seem to be providing for other people. Without wanting men to sound like the saviors of the planet, Maybe a little bit. I'm not for one second claiming that men are not without fault. That is very clear to see everywhere. But I do feel that men are getting a bit of a tough deal at the moment. And from the other dads I talked to and from this list, what shows is that men are very loving and caring. And we do care about other people. And we're very loyal. Yes, we make mistakes a lot of the time. But we also do a lot of good things a lot of the time. And I think that needs to be factored in. Yes, I want to be fit and healthy. But if I'm honest, not for really any narcissistic reasons, really just so that I can be the best dad and husband I can. Also, there's an element of, certainly in my case, the fact that I'm married to someone who I think is more attractive than me. Probably an insecurity that I need to look reasonable for my wife. And the sixth thing that apparently we think about the most, hobbies and interests. Personal interests such as sport and gaming is one of the topics on the list. And I'd agree with that. But often I think there's an underlying reason for a lot of things that men choose to do. I chose to take up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in 2016, following an incident on the seafront where I had to help a policeman restrain a proper arsehole. That experience made me think, I've got no self-defense techniques. If someone broke into my house in the middle of the night, I've got no way of combating that. 
So I chose Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, not because I wanted to become badass or get a six pack. So I was more worried that A, I can't defend myself, but more importantly, I can't defend my family. But also starting a podcast and learning how to edit. The dream was that I need to find a role that I can do the childcare. Because there were days in my nine to five job where actually we were losing money by me going to work. So without wanting to blow my own trumpet, you don't have a trumpet. Without wanting to blow my hypothetical trumpet, I do feel I'd be doing men a disservice if I didn't spend some time on this channel promoting the fact that on the whole, and obviously this is only based on my life experience, most men are happiest when they are providing for their loved one. I generally don't want anything. How about a new jujitsu hoodie? I would like a new jujitsu hoodie. How about your YouTube to be monetized? I would like my YouTube to be monetized. I think you get the point. Leaving all hypothetical trumpets out of it, my priorities are my family. I am happiest when they're happy. And I'd love to know, tell me in the comments, if as a man, a husband or a father, you feel the same. Because I'll be honest, I think that needs to be heard and heard more often. And the seventh thing that men think about the most, according to a very helpful list from ChatGBT, family and friends. Now I take this to mean immediate family and friends. So maybe not my wife or my children, but maybe my mum, my brother, my sister, and my close friends. I'm very lucky, I've got a great relationship with my mum, she's awesome. She also makes the world's best flapjack. The fact that friendships is a thing listed as number seven on the list of 10, shows me that men do put other people first. My friendships are important. I know that if I've got things I'm worried about, you do worry a lot. I know. But if I don't get an opportunity once a week to hang out with my mates, get some perspective, that affects my mental health. And number eight on the list of 10 things men think about the most, future and goals. In the same way you'd have a five year business plan, I do have an idea of where I want to be in five years. I do have an idea of what support I want to provide to my family. I do have an idea of what I want the house to look like. I do have an idea of what I hope I'm earning. And I'm sure there'll be women out there who'd happily argue every point on this list. And there will be feckless men out there who don't think about anyone other than themselves or any further than their next point. But certainly in the dads I've met, that's not the case. Most of the dads I know do have an idea of the horizon of where they want their family to be. What opportunities or threats could potentially be around the corner. And frankly, the ninth thing on the list that men think about the most, technology and gadgets. Well done. It's been 12 months, you've not managed to leave your phone on the bus or drop it down the toilet. We can give you a new one. Apparently, interest in the latest technologies or gadgets is prevalent amongst men. I don't know whether or not ChatGBT is implying that men are more geeky or more likely to be geeky and nerdy about gadgets and technology. She wasn't that clear about that. The 10th thing on the list that apparently men think about the most, that sounds quite a lot of the other things on the list, I think ChatGBT was running out of options, is personal development. I think personal development is something that seeps into every element of your life. Work and career is personal development. Health and fitness is personal development. Future and goals is personal development. But I imagine there are lots of men out there who are so busy just trying to pay the bills, that they really do not have time to think about personal development. Personal development is a luxury. If you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, self-actualization is the pinnacle goal of the human species. Not everyone gets the luxury to live out the life they dream. But I suppose if you're lucky enough to have everything else covered, then you're in a position to think about personal development. I really hope you got some of this podcast. And if you've got a wife or a partner who's always giving you a hard time saying, it's all you ever think about, feel free to share this with her. I've also created a stress management course for parents. If you'd like completely free access to it, just go to my website, www.dadmindmatters.com. The only downside that in order to do so, you need to join our mailing list and I might try and sing you a ukulele song on your birthday. If you like what I'm trying to do to support other parents, please share it with someone and maybe even think about subscribing. Worst case scenario, if I start annoying you after a month, you can always unsubscribe. That's what I did. All right, wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care.